while we was in the car on our way to the shop. But yo, right now, kick the bass for them brothers and let them know what, what goes, goes on. on. Rolling stones in the rap game, not bragging. Lips bigger than Jagger, not sagging. It's brother backwards, I'ma leave it at that. Daddy got nothing to do with rap. So, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review video, the usual first 30 minutes or so for this game, Unrest. Um, it's, well, I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know a huge amount about it. Apparently it's set in a fantasy interpretation of ancient India, uh, and it's a story-driven adventure RPG. So, yeah, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but we'll give it a go and see what it's like. Uh, so, set difficulty, myth or mortal? Uh, we're going myth. Don't want to make it too hard for myself to start with. I've got to admit, it looks pretty. So it's one of these point and click games. Can I talk to you? Good morning, my sovereign. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do I want to play this? Brave, silly, or rebellious? Hmm. Uh. It's quite brave. It's not that scary, I've seen angrier mobs before. Bitter, critical, or understanding. I always play these games nice, I don't know why, it's like Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us. I always take the nice options. thrown in. Da, da, da. Who are you? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I so want to say that. Can't we just run them off for the guards? So apparently I'm, we're signing some sort of treaty. Uh, greeting in their language, even. We want them to be impressed. Yeah, we want them to be impressed. Okay. So apparently, these guards are going to stay with me. Naga Empire can use such a trade and the opportunity to send over more immigrants from its own overpopulated professional classes. Great. So I guess I'm playing as this thing now. Oh no, this is who I'm talking to. I'm playing as something else along those lines. Now, I know I'm obviously only early into the game and there could be more to this, but I seem to be playing both sides, which kind of negates the point. 
mean, it's not like I've got to, like, um, get a tree with these guys because I can just make them say yes if I'm playing as them. Lesser humans. <laughs> speak to any of these people? No. Oh yeah, I've got to get next to them. <laughs> Your countryside is nice, even in its current state. Yeah, it's proper backhanded. I'm making myself friendly, apparently. Backhanded. Uh, we'll go with diplomatic. Yeah, we to you. Uh, actually, let's be honest. It require a lot of work, frankly. We pass right on our way in. That isn't us, that's not Biram, that's the slums. Well, surely they're part of your country or empire, whatever. With the options, again, I've not played a huge amount of this, but with the girl that I had, the options were kind of like nice, scared, things like that. Every one of these Nagas, their answer is basically, it, well, not every one of them, but they've always got the backhanded option, which is quite funny. <laughs> Grey Serpent. <laughs> and, <laughs> and maybe we can give you some loudmouth monkey palm wine in return. <laughs> Let's be diplomatic. very good at politics, it's fair, the slums don't really matter one way or the other to either of our political interests. Mm. 
can't bother to talk to them too. They might struggle to get upstairs. Yeah, certain. Swallows and averts his eyes. How about you? Uh, I don't think I have. No, oh, okay. I forget who she said her husband was. Let's talk to you. Usually when my people see a big snake, they got out with a spade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that one. And when we see talking monkey, we usually put the jog down. for a drink. <laughs> yeah, let's go let's go get drunk. I, I like the idea of getting drunk. I, oh, apparently I'm a woman. Wow. Look at them plummet. Okay. It's a stick. No, let's go up here. Seems fascinated, okay. Well, welcome to the palace, Ambassador. He seems frightened. The royals are in the garden, not in the palace. Well, I haven't seen them. Talk to you. Yeah, we'll go with funny. But uh, he didn't find that funny. each character's got their own traits. Map. Journal inventory. Alright, let's go to the map. Inventory. What we got? This. Oh. Let's talk to you.
Oh, okay. Hired a mercenary captain and his company to provide permanent defensive perimeter. Oh, okay, I can go to the. Oh, hello. Straightforward. This uh, round beer seems to be a bit of a problem. Let's just go kill him. Okay. 
up spit enough. <coughs> Yeah, that's it. You get stuck on a tree, mate. Oh, okay. Guess I am going this way. Let's go speed over here. Okay, so that was the first 20 minutes or so, uh, I reckon, of unrest. I did actually go uh, another 20 minutes into the game, but I'll be completely honest, it's all the same. It's a lot of clicking, talking, uh, it didn't really grab me. Um, I think the game suffers from changing characters too often. I started off as the uh, daughter of a sovereign, by the looks of it, then I changed into the uh, Naga, or whatever they're called, uh, with the big snakes. A politician or a diplomat um, and then what you didn't see was I then changed into a peasant girl who was being married off to an absolute prick of a boy um, I decided to play that a bit harsh that one very ironic the whole way through there were quite a few of the things that got laughs whilst I was going through but you know I don't think it's a funny game I don't think it's intending them getting laughs uh, the game was dull and uninteresting it didn't really grab me uh, if it doesn't grab you in the first half hour, the game's never going to grab you. I can see how people may enjoy this. I think it's quite pretty. There are the, the, the art style. I like the art style. It's it's almost kind of a retro art style, but it's uh, it's quite pretty. But the game itself, nah, not really a goer for me. As I said, I can see some people may enjoy it. If you're into that kind of game and you're into the, the idea of mystery, because it does seem like there's a bit of a mystery behind the story, then yeah, it might be the game for you, but not for me. 